Uh, Your Eminence, Archbishop Angelus, good afternoon. Thank you so much for being with us with SAT7 as the Archbishop of the Coptic Orthodox Church in London and also as the chair of our executive board, SAT7 Executive Board and International Council. Rita, it's uh, lovely to be with you and um, such a blessing. And uh, I, it's wonderful that at a time of this sort of lockdown that we can still be in communication, contact with each other. So it is wonderful to share this time with you. So good to see you. I hope I'll see you in person soon in London. I miss traveling a little bit. <laughs> yes, what, what, traveling? What does that mean? I can't remember what that means. <laughs> Your Eminence, you, you, you knew before that we had a big conference in Turkey in March, and it's um, where all the Sat7 partners, friends, supporters gather together, and uh, we just present Sat7 work. And the theme of the conference was daring to believe. So can you talk to us a little bit about this challenge of daring to believe, especially in this time of unprecedented crisis? Yes, we, we were supposed to be together, uh, and I'm, I'm so sad that we're not, because it's a wonderful time to catch up with friends from around the world and people who are so committed to the work of SAT7, as well as the SAT7 team from all over the world. Um, but no one, no one could have foreseen what, what we're going through. And if, if belief and daring to believe was important when this was being planned, it is infinitely more important now. Hmm. Because at the moment, um, we're so overtaken by news and statistics and science and expectation and anxiety. We're all looking for answers. And the frustrating thing is that many of the questions we have actually don't have uh, conclusive answers at the stage and, and you know it's really easy to be um, uh, judgmental of of uh, policy makers and scientists and people in in authority because we're talking about which way we're going what decisions we're making and of course there are very clearly right and wrong decisions in some things but with many things we don't know uh, the most the most expert of experts don't know. And so we come back to holding on to what we really know, which is our faith, Amen. which is that we are in the hands of a, a, a mighty God who is loving and daring to believe in that is really important. It's very easy to fall into the mindset of why has God allowed this? Why is God uh, doing this to the world? Is this judgment of the world? So many scenarios play out, and they are the easy ones to fall into. But the more daring ones are believing that we're in the hands of, of a God who, um, like a child who sees a parent doing something that they can't explain, realizes then that it was just either the parent going on with, with his or her daily life or for their own benefit or that good things will come out of every situation. And so the daring is holding on to what we believe in. And I do think as Christians, we have an incredibly important role at the moment. It's not to be delusional. To, it's not always to be smiling because people don't want to see that. People, people don't want to be reminded that, that somebody else is happy when they're not. Yeah. Um, but I think what's important is to show people that there is hope that in the scheme of things, this is a horrible situation. It's unprecedented in our lifetimes. No one alive today has gone through this or anything like it. No one, not a single person has gone through this. And so there are a lot of unknowns, but also as Christians, we can show that hope that we will come through this. And of course, there will be people who will still have very sadly lost loved ones or, or become sick or become uh, anxious or, or afraid or lose income or lose stability. But there is still hope beyond all of that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And by God's grace, we will rebuild and we will get back, not even to where we were, but I'm sure in many ways, a better place.